what's going on anime community my zaku is here again with another death battle this battle murder uchiha versus tornado asuki now due to the last naruto movie hype a lot of people have been comparing Tenere to Madara. A lot of people have been comparing Madara to Tenere. I'm here to break down who's actually the victor. And let's get this all straight right now. I'm not going to, you know, my fact, my fact. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to explain both of their powers. Because you know, as a member of the Asuski clan, Tenere is gifted with extremely powerful chakra. He has shown ability to absorb chakra or green orb which he fucking used constantly which which uh he can also use to check if someone has a a dorn like excuse me chocolate like, if somebody is of his clan he can tell kind of like toby rama but a little too powerful enough to control the ancient weapon left on the moon which could dislodge it from orbit he excuse me he can swiftly move Extra fa fuck. He can he can move fucking fast. Also, he can control thousands of puppets, which can control energy blasts. Me, I've never really been a puppet guy. I don't give a fuck about puppet. Give a fuck about puppet masters. I really don't care. His overall power and prowess is compared to the likes of Madara Uchiha as he defeats Naruto Uzumaki during the first encounter with him. Okay. Now, these guys are both freaking gifted, man. <laughs> me sit here to explain Mother's powers, I'll be here for hours. And I'm not even, I'm not dick right, I'm not nut hugging. I, I, look, Mother's a good character, but he's nowhere near my fucking favorite. Everybody know, uh, I don't even think Toby Robbins my fucking favorite anymore, but I don't think I have one anymore. But everyone knows that, uh, Toneri, you could consider him, um, if you want to, you can say he's a moon buster. Me, he's more of a moon slice. Cause he sliced the moon, he didn't really, like, destroy the moon. Bill called Master Roshi from Dragon Ball the Moon Buster because he busted the moon. He, he disorbited it. It, it. He completely destroyed it. To know he cut the moon in half. So it's kind of like a knife. I mean, I mean, he's a moon cutter. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, take anything away from him. I'm saying it how it is. He cut a fucking moon. That's what he did. And that juice he, he used to fucking do it was obviously fucking powerful as shit. Uh, excuse me, I had to look that up so I could put that uh, maybe in the top 10 juices list if I ever do one. But if he can cut a moon, I'm pretty sure Murderer, Double Renegon, Slash Sherenagon could freaking cut the moon maybe 3 4 times. Now, due to that feat by Tenere, if you argue that him and Murderer could be, uh, you know, phys physical strength like Jutsu wise on the same level, I'm not gonna really argue with you on that. Because this motherfucker cut a moon in half. Nobody ever, like, you came from throwing shuriken, Naruto, came from throwing shuriken and shadow clones and water dragons to fucking here, I'm gonna cut the fucking moon. This show's obviously not about ninjas anymore. But he cuts the moon. That's a great feat. I'm not gonna take that away from him. Pretty amazing ass feat, right? Now, don't be so quick to say he's stronger than Mordor because of that. Because. In the, in the battle, physical strength is and everything. Had that been the truth, the third Rakari would be number one on every fucking list. Well, not every list. Minus the Sage Six Paths. Uh, no, no. Minus the Tentel Absorbers. You know, ones who uh, freaking sell the Tentels within them. But, <clears throat> yeah. Even if they did, I'm pretty sure Dirk can still penetrate them. But, strength, speed, endurance, agility, all that shit. You know, in technique and skill. All that shit ties up into one being. You know, technique and skill, it's not even close. It's not, it's not close. Murderer, period. It's not, you, you know it's this shit. No, technique, this, no, murderer, period. Not even fucking funny. I'm not laughing. Murderer, period. Now, it's been said to know he's been compared to Murderer Uchiha. People say he's as strong as him. He's probably as strong as Murderer Uchiha with the one freaking Renegon, bro. Real shit. Real shit. Because feats don't add up. Toneri lost to a, a trend line fist Rasengan punch by Naruto, which was all his strength. And pushed him back into the wall and knocked him out of uh, his uh, Tensei Gan mode. By the way, he has a Tensei Gan. Those who don't, who don't know, Tensei Gan is the Renegon version of the Byakugan. Let me guys know that. So he knocks him out of Tensei Gan mode. Now, Madara. 
with one with the one renegade. Just the one renegade model right here. To three eight gates attacks and live to tell about it and laughed at freaking Mike Guy. Here's the difference between these two the endurance. One model can freaking regenerate. He can regenerate. Tonary cannot do that. He can cut model, he could do whatever. Murder survives eight gates attack. A freaking Naruto stage, uh, lava wrestling shuriken. I mean, he uh, had, uh, shuris, you know, chakra tapped in him. And Sasuke literally cut this man in half. He came back from all three of those things. And no matter what. Huh, let's see, what, five minutes? All that lasted in, what, five minutes? And the, the motherfucker can heal. He's basically immortal. You guys think Taneri is equal to him? Taneri's more of a match to one Renegade model, because model with two Renegade and uh, the freaking Serenagon? No. Because that motherfucker can be compared to the likes of Hagorama and Kinguya. That's how strong that model is. That model can. Uh, you, can put, you can put that model over Hagorama on the list, and you can still have the feats to back it up, because feats wise, he would be stronger than Hagorama. And I don't know why people take that away from him. I don't know why I take that away from him. But it's just it's just the way it is. Maybe I put it on the list to keep people from bitching. That's just me though. It's obvious. Look, I'm not taking shit from uh Teneri. The chakra mode, man, is probably strongest. Um, now it's um a sure mode, not the Buddha mode, but the sure mode. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Of course, he's obviously gonna be top ten. Look at his lineage. He's a direct descendant from Humor. First off, everybody from the Asuki clan is a direct member of Humor. Cause Kaguya had a son Humor. He moved to the moon, and if he moved to the moon and this whole clan of them, obviously they all originated from one person. So I don't know why they try to hype that up. And say, oh, he's the direct descendant. No, Humor was the only Asuki there on the fucking moon with some fucking female, and they had sex. Two, probably had two, three kids. Those three kids have to have sex and make more kids. That's how it worked back when it was just two people. You all of your so-called Adam Eve bullshit. I don't really know. I don't really care. I'm pretty sure it was cavemen or freaking Egyptians that were the first people to live on Earth. Seriously, Teneri, he's a great opponent. He is Moon Slicer level. Moderate is Moon Buster level. Moderate. Freaking turned Teneri's planet into an infinite Tsukiyama used to, to control the Earth. Which is the only reason why Teneri even bothered showing up his face down on the Earth. Because Madara did some fucked up shit. I mean, Alpha Man too, you turn my, her, my whole planet red? And then, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm not sure if he killed the rest of the Asuki members by doing that. I just know Teneri's the last survivor. But in the picture, so Teneri is a child and like, a whole bunch of members of the Asuki plan, like, I mean, clan behind him. So, I'm not sure what's happening there. But, it's obvious mother has to be the cause. So, that, that's basically it. Let me know when, uh, Hamura can survive three A-Gates attacks. Because he can't regenerate himself. One of them shits hit him. Or, no, maybe one or two of those, two of those attacks probably kill a motherfucker. I don't even think, uh, Night Guy is even worth using or in Teneri. I mean, it's probably worth, worth using him because he's the right lineage of... Freaking Kaguya and uh, Hamura, but he's not gonna survive. He can't regenerate like Madara can regenerate. No, Naruto and Sasuke never killed Madara. They could not beat him. When Madara got the two Renegades, Naruto and Sasuke struggled. It took Black Death to, to put his hand inside Madara's back and turn into Kaguya, a freaking uh, technique, useless ass bitch who did shit. Had that been Madara, they might have not have made it out that fight. Because Madara has technique. He's intelligent. Way more intelligent than fucking, uh, Teneri, I assure you that shit. But endurance-wise, intellect-wise, technique-wise, strength-wise, you can argue. But speed-wise, of course, you know, speed-wise, Mother's faster. Look at the stacks, guys. It's a good match. No to that. But in the end, we all know who your victor is. The third, no, no. Yeah, I'm guessing because Obito was technically one, but your third say the six pass, Madara takes the cake in this battle. This has been Mazaku giving his opinion on Madara versus Teneri death battle. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my other videos, watch my other videos. They are just as equally great as this one, and see ya.